My name is Elizabeth Russell and I currently work for the Harvard School of Public Health in a lab that does a lot of HIV research in Botswana and um, then uses a lot of the samples to perform basic science experiments. In high school I figured out I enjoyed a lot of math classes and chemistry in particular. I was part of a special class that combined um, some computer programming and calculus and physics and we were able to design our own science project and then work on it on our own time and develop our own plan and I think that's where I first realized that science is really interesting. You get to use your mind to look at a problem, any problem you want, in any way that you want and and really kind of be creative with science. I also have always had this interest in um, how infectious diseases affect health and how it affects people's lives. So while I was at Deering, we started this HIV awareness group and had made bulletin boards talking about things like condom use and how HIV is transmitted, how you can protect yourself from getting infected and other sexually transmitted infections. We worked with the school nurse. That was a really a good experience for me in terms of learning how to find people that are older than you and have a lot more experience but have the same passions and then they can really show you how to put those into action. I graduated from Deering in 1997 and then I went to Tufts University where I got a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and from there I went on to graduate school at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and I got a PhD in microbiology and immunology and after that I got a job um, back in Boston at Harvard School of Public Health and I'm doing some postdoctoral work there on the mother to child transmission of HIV. In Botswana I was able to participate in starting a new clinical trial that's really looking at transmission and kind of a new way to fight transmission using HIV drugs both for treatment but also for prevention. In the future I'm hoping to continue to work on infectious diseases and HIV um, but find more ways to combine both the clinic and the kind of basic science aspects in public health.